Hey everybody, it's Laura and you're watching Atomic News TV. And today I have some amazing footage of the border wall at Tijuana. Um, this footage is courtesy of Paloma for Trump. That's why you see her little initials up in the top corner there. She has given me permission to uh, screen grab and share her uh, videos from Facebook so that we can get the word out there about what is going on with the wall and immigration at the border. So she gets some great footage all the time. So I highly suggest that you go follow her on Facebook as well as subscribe to her channel here on YouTube. So let's get into it and see what she's got here. Paloma here at the border. This is, uh, these are the fences that are being removed right now. Right now, this truck is entering America, this is the fence that divides America from Mexico right now. These are the fences that are being replaced. They are able to open them. That's, that's America. That's America right there. This is Mexico. Hi guys. So this is the fence right now that divides America with Mexico. The reason why this guy is opening it is because he's letting people in. He's letting uh, that, you know, that truck in. That truck that just came in, he's letting them in because they're doing construction. But this is, this is the fence. Bye, America! Say bye! <laughs> he's, uh... That's the fence that divides Mexico and America right now. But these, flip, these fences are being replaced uh, with the steel tall fences that go into concrete. Let me just show you. Let me show you. That's, I'm, I'm peeking through a hole, as you can tell, okay? Um, the reason why they're working here is because they're replacing this, these fences, these fences, look at the wire, there's the wire right there, and these are the fences that are being replaced. Oh, they have wires so people can't get across, look. No, he didn't. Um, I know, I thought, I, I thought it was something weird, too. But anyway, um, the reason why they ha they've had all this construction recently is because these fences are very weak. But in the last about year and a half, there's been construction going on that nobody talks about. I'm on the Mexico side. I'm on the Mexico side right now. That's America. In there, that's America, okay? So this is the first fence, and that's the second fence. They have two fences. However, if people manage to get across, this, this small fence, um, they can claim asylum. And this is what I've been talking about. But President Trump has been working hard, has been working really hard to replace um, these fences. They've made them taller, but what he's doing is he is um, putting in place the new fences with the with the steel uh, poles and uh, that are that go into the concrete. Let me show you. Hold on. This is how weak they are and why he's pushing so hard for the wall, guys. How, you know, I mean, come on. This is pretty weak, but he's replacing them. And this is what people do. They camp out. They camp out out here. Um, I'm not saying this guy is because he just looks homeless, but a lot of people, hold on, it's kind of dangerous out here because the traffic is pretty bad. Um, they camp out out here and they wait, you know, and they wait uh, for the right time of the day. Hold on, I'm looking in there. There's border patrol. I don't know if you guys could see border patrol the way I could see it because it's kind of an, at an angle, but I'm gonna walk down there. Hold on, let me walk down there. Here, let me show you from here. Um, 
can you see border patrol? No, you can't see it. I can see it, but it, it's like I have to, I would have to put the phone in there for you to be able to see it. But anyway, border patrol is right there. Um, the problem is that once they get across this fence, technically they're on U.S. soil. And look, I'm going to show you something. Guys, this is why he's been working so hard. Look, that's the fence, okay? I'm in, um, I'm in, uh, I'm in Tijuana, guys. So, that's looking through the fence, okay? And I'm trying to show you Border Patrol, but... My phone won't go in there because this is too small for my phone to go in there. Be quiet. Somebody honking at me. Um, oh, hey, let me put my... Okay, I can put it through here. Hold on, let me... I'm going to try to put it through this hole so you guys can see how Border Patrol just waits. But look at that. See that? This is why President Trump wants these, these fences replaced. This is why he wants that budget, guys. Look at this. How is this security for any country? This is why he's pushing so hard. Okay? What's that wall across the way? Well, that's another fence. But the problem is once, once they touch that ground right there, that ground you see right there, they're on U.S. soil. And at that point, they can request asylum. And now, with all these uh, attorneys and, uh, and with all these attorneys and all these people guiding them and advising them, now they know. Now they know, you know, maybe on their own they wouldn't know. Hold on, it's really muddy because it's been raining a lot out here. So let me try to get over here. I mean, they do have... Hold on. This is bad. Um, and they do have... Look, there. there's cameras up there. Let me see if I can get them. Can you see the cameras up there? So there's Border Patrol always watching... Yeah, it is over. It is overwhelming. This is why. This is why. See, people just walk through here. And uh, hold on. Let me. Let me go. Let me get through this mud. And then I'll continue showing you what's going on out here. This mud is bad. It's been raining a lot. This is like. Oh gosh. Please wish me that I don't get hit by a car. <laughs> um. Anyway, I'm going to show you the rest of the wall. I mean, the rest of the fence, the one that's being built, and why he has been pushing so hard for it to be replaced. Because this cannot be the wall between America and Mexico or basically any country. You know? I mean, these fences are old. They have to be replaced. We need, we need either a concrete or a steel fence, like the ones that are, uh, that are, that are being built in some areas. Because this definitely can't be it. Look, look at that. Look at that hole. Um, guys, I could probably go through there. I mean, there's barbed wire, there's uh, that, that wire, that razor wire there. But still, dude, that's just not enough. People are honking at me. And then there's some homeless guy over there making signs at me, but... Um, Recently, I haven't seen that many people out here hanging out waiting to cross, but a couple years ago, I used to see it all the time. All the time. They used to get people out here uh, and at night, you know, and then they would wait. And I'm not even talking about coyotes. I'm talking about people just on their own doing it. They're letting construction people in. That's why those gates keep opening. Hold on. One second. I'm gonna drive over to where the. I'm gonna drive over to. To where the other fence is. Hold on. Where the newer fences are put, are being put in. But I just wanted to show you this, how weak this is, and why our president is pushing so much for these fences to be replaced. He promised Americans security. You know, safety. And this, guys, is not safe. So now I'm going to take you um, down. See, this is all, this is the, the whole wall. This is a, the fence, the older fence. And then I'm going to take you to where the new fence is being, is being put in and show you the difference. And that's what we need throughout the entire border. 
the entire southern border and possibly even now northern border too because wait hold on hold on let me see that oh look 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 wait 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 what are they doing there oh shoot i can't stop did you see those guys okay so this is a new fence this is a new fence that's being put in guys look at the difference look at that difference okay did you see those guys peeking in this is the new fence um i'm going to show you what, uh, where it's being built there's a lot of construction going on for this fence this is all new yeah, can you tell it's all new okay share this video so people know what's going on out here guys because a lot of people just they have no idea and of course being concerned citizens americans everybody wants to know look at that and then it just again so that's why he keeps asking for this budget for this for all of this to be protected guys all this needs to be protected all of it not just some of it you know what's the point of having this in certain areas and not all of it look at that this is where it's being done right here that's america right there guys hold on i'm gonna see where i can get out okay because it's almost impossible to stop here. These are these are um, highways, so it's hard to stop here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, the new fence is looking awesome, but we need it all across. Look, they're putting it in. Look, see that? That's where they're putting it in. It's hard for me to stop. Hold on one second. I'm, I'm gonna try to get out and show you. This is all the new fence. Um, wait, 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 let me see. There's people actually living down there. I don't know if you guys could see them from me driving like this, but there's people actually living down there. It's crazy. Um, hold on, let me, let me take you further. See where I can stop. See how different the, the bigger fence, the new fence, um, in comparison to the smaller, older fence. Hold on. I'm gonna drive up more so I can show you. And that's, this is all new. That's the new, a lot of new, uh, the new concrete that's being put in. Construction, you can see the construction right through the fence. No one is talking about this, guys. No one is talking about the work that's being done. See the more construction there? All this is being protected, and uh, honestly, I've seen it. I've seen it go pretty fast in the last two years. It needs to go faster, though. Whatever he may need, if it, if it, if it need, you know, whatever budget America needs to have this done. So, let me see where I can stop. It's almost impossible to stop here. I was able to stop last time um, because. They had it blocked off uh, with the construction. But anyway, so that's that's all America, guys. This is Mexico. See, there's no there's no border here, guys. Look, look. there's no border. Here. Yeah, you can stop right here. There's absolutely no border here. Let me show you. Let me show you something. Let me show you. Let me show you. Um, yeah, much taller, better materials. Shut up. Probably know me. There's Paloma sharing the truth. Um, so all this, watch, I'm going to show you. So all this right now, where all this obviously is Mexico, you know. Um, there's people that camp out out here waiting for an opportunity to cross like those guys down there. You see? Hold on. It's freezing out here. Um, there's also people over there camping out. See, hold them. Can you see them? See those tents or those little shacks over there? And uh, and so that's all that, guys. All that has to be replaced. Look at that. All that has to be replaced. There's only certain areas that are that are that have the new fence. 
but a lot of that has to be replaced. And all this is obviously Mexico. There's a fence. There's a um, there's a border. That's Mexico, though. Those houses are Mexico. Um, but we need to we need to hurry up, guys, because this is no security. No country, no country. Um, deserves to have this. That's San Diego. Can you guys see San Diego all the way over there? That's downtown. Downtown San Diego. Look how beautiful that is. There's the Coronado Bridge. Can you see the Coronado Bridge going all across? Look at that. Hold on. Let me see. Let me show you. Oh, look at that. The Coronado Bridge. So, we definitely, definitely need to keep working on this, guys. Our president, I can... I, listen, for years I've been here, I never saw any of this construction going on until President Trump took office. So he may not, he may or may not be getting his budget and doing, and getting what he, what he wants and what he needs, uh, but they're definitely working, but it needs to, it needs to go faster and, and he, and the wall needs to get approved. The budget for the wall needs to get approved. I'm showing you exactly, exactly how, what's being done out here, the difference. And all these cameras I never really saw before. Um, I've been here for 10 years, almost 11 years now. It will be 11 years in July. I got here in July of 2008. Um, and once you, when you live here, this is all kind of like an everyday, you know. Um, but I always noticed it. I noticed it for years, how weak these fences were. And, uh, and that's why I've always been a supporter since the beginning, because I know how people are taking advantage of America. I've seen it for years. I've seen it for years, years. Not, not only in America, but I've seen it from the Mexico side. You know, if people want to break in, they can break in. And when you've got thousands of people now, like these caravans are coming in, think of how easy it could be for them um, to just run across. Forget about asylum. Or even when they ask for asylum, once they get across. So, anyway, wanted to share this with you. Woo! It's freezing out here. Freezing, freezing out here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get back in my car. Yeah, so that's, they're moving faster. Last time I was here, last time I was here, um, they didn't have as, as much done. They literally have like probably that whole drive that I just took, it wasn't, it wasn't, most of it is new. So you can see it from here all the way over there. That's the new fence. And then it goes down. But down there, Hold on. Down there, you could see the small fence that needs to be replaced. I'm tired, not a question mark. Okay, it looks like her live feed that she did on Facebook had problems at that point, but you guys get the gist. That's some amazing footage. So thank you, Paloma, for the work that you do. Uh, she does this, like I said, all the time from the Tijuana, California border. And as you can tell, there are so many places that are wide open or easily accessible for illegals to get through the fence and get on American soil and claim asylum. That is why we need to continue the construction of that amazing fence that you guys saw. So... I'm so glad I could put this out there for you. Thank you again, Paloma, for collaborating with me and allowing me to put your footage on my on my page. And uh, I look forward to seeing what comes from you in the future. Until next time, guys, peace out.